All right, today we've got a question from Bob has having a little bit of problem escaping from turtle. So uh, we're gonna go over something that should help him out a little bit. Bro, what, what are you doing? I said you could train here. I didn't say you could do the videos. No, we've got a question from Bob, though. Well, you think you, you have a beard so you can do question and answer videos with, with my YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah. This is ridiculous. But it's going to work. We look exactly the same. Look exactly the same. Who, who wore it better? You guys let me know. Who wore it better? <laughs> Are we tiptoeing? Who wore it better? <laughs> we're having like a pose off now. Who wore it better? Me or Johnny? Well, since you're here, you do have some good uh, wrestling techniques that you can use from Turtle. So, guys, we're going to take you through a technique that you can use from Turtle. Um, it's a really cool technique. He actually hit it on me earlier today during rolling. Um, so, let's jump into that. Uh, so, I'm here with Johnny Buck. He is a uh, he was coming through town. He's a good wrestler, um, and he's got good jiu-jitsu. And so, when we were rolling today, there was a few things that um, he was doing that I wanted to kind of get a technique from while he was here that he can share with you guys. Um, if you're interested, he's in Asheville, North Carolina. You can check him out like on uh, Instagram, Johnny Buck. Johnny Buck too. What's your website? Uh, catchwrestling.ninja. Cool. So he's a lot. There's his. We were talking about this. His jiu-jitsu is infused with a lot of wrestling. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely check his stuff out. Um, but he's got a really cool detail from Turtle that a lot of you guys could use um, when you're rolling with someone. So brother, I'll let you take it away. So uh, I've been playing, coming from a wrestling background. I started wrestling in eighth grade all through college, and then I got into MMA afterwards. And then about a couple years ago, I got into sport jiu-jitsu, and. Uh, 10 planet brown belt, so a lot of the EBI training we do, mm -hmm. so a lot of seat belt control. Okay. And what I found is um, that basic wrestling, like middle school, elementary school wrestling is super effective yeah. um, being applied to that because jiu-jitsu guys react differently. Mm -hmm. We have different rule set, different end game, so they react differently. So you can get away with something a lot, what I would call sloppier, mm -hmm. like you wouldn't go away at school wrestling, but the concept is beautiful. Okay. So off the Peterson, it's a Peterson or a fat man roll basically off of like a seat belt control or turtle anywhere. So cool. we're turtled up, um, real basic control, and you know, I'm here, I play this position a lot. Uh, I'll give my back up a lot, and I'll give a little bit of space for this to come through. Obviously we gotta defend the choke, um, but I found a lot of, a lot of newer guys will go straight for the choke and they don't worry about control and then you just get out. But said, if you're aiming to beat the top 5% in the world, then you'll beat the rest of the turds too. So most guys, when you're when here, you know, obviously we, have to, we do have to respect the choke still, but if we're going to go for that fat man's roll at Peterson, if I reach back here, he's just going to pull his arm out and we lose it, okay? Now we have our options to stand up, but it's, a lot of guys want to continue engaging because you don't want to worry about being guillotined and whatnot when you wrestle. So we're here. I just control this grip. I just get one and one. Um, halfway defend the choke, just keep him from choking me, obviously, and I keep this grip here. And instead of reaching back here, I just pull this tight. So now I have the same control of his body, and I'm basically sticking his hand deep as I can between my legs. Right? And what allows this to work so easily is this is my post, it's keeping me up. I'm gonna take this post away and put the top of my foot, basically the outside of my foot is gonna hit the mat. It's right here, there's no post. I tuck my elbow and I roll through. As I do, I try and catch a hip and we come through. There's good side control pressure here. Yeah, and yeah, you position. can just transition. One thing that's what I forgot, I was messing with until one of my early coaches came, his son came in, uh, Keep, is keeping this grip here. Uh, it's just, this is real fake. Yeah. It just sucks. <laughs> it makes him uncomfortable. You'll tap a small guy with it, but the, the two big parts about it is one is controlling that grip mm -hmm. around the body and then opening that leg. That really takes that flow. If, if you guys can't see, when he's controlling my wrist, this is an important detail anytime you go wrist control. He's controlling right here at the bend, so he's not grabbing my forearm, he's not grabbing my hand. If you try to grab someone's wrist, you can get used to it, take the middle finger and thumb and literally just right there, it'll catch naturally, let the rest of your hands go around it, and that's good wrist control, because once you get that, it's so hard to pull away. Yeah. Let's get, take this for a couple of options, or for a couple of angles, yeah. Yeah, so, boom, good control. Catch through. And you can hit this from, from a lot of different angles, so we'll get to the other side too. So, um, kind of from behind, so you can watch my feet. So, here, control. You can hit it from about anywhere, honestly, mm -hmm. as long as you are one, taking your knee away, that post, that, that kickstand goes away, and keeping good wrist control. And, like you said, I can grab anywhere on that wrist. Yeah. And if you really like, try and pull that out, even here, I mean, once you get that catch on the wrist, it's, it's, it's stuck. It catches perfectly, yeah. yeah so, Well, you know, and, and you hit me with this earlier, like, um, when we were rolling, and I know the Peterson roll, but, you know, it was one of those things where I felt the roll too, like, late and I had to scramble through. 
Um, and it was because, again, we changed the grip. And that was kind of a, an interesting thing you guys can take away. So, like, in this situation, I know what a Peterson roll is, right? So if he was to hook the elbow, I would have been back in a heartbeat, right? But the fact was, I was here and I felt the seatbelt. And I feel, like, right now, I feel all right, because like, I still got my seatbelt grip and everything else. But he's got a really good bite on my wrist. And again, I didn't see it coming until the very end. So then he sits back, boom. And then I'm having to scramble and fight through. So maybe one of the things you guys can think about this, if you know, the, the move itself is good, but like in that situation, notice the difference. I just think this is cool. It's a cool idea for you guys to take away. He wants to get control of that arm. Use the, the elbow, I'm gonna see it coming, but he can also use the wrist, right? So two different grips accomplish the same thing. So even with the rest of your moves, guys, like you can think about how you could switch the grip to, you know, accomplish the same thing and then people don't see it coming. You know, so that was a cool move. It's just a different way of hitting the same thing. So, mm -hmm. appreciate so it, man. cool, brother. Thank you, man. So, um, again, guys, if you want to check some of his stuff out, a lot of good wrestling stuff. He's got some cool stuff on Instagram. If you want some uh, short clips um, there of like some good wrestling techniques, and then um, you can check out his website. What was that again? Catchwrestling.ninja. Dot ninja. And then, um, do you have a YouTube now? Uh, I just started it. Yeah, I don't know what it is though. I think, uh, I think it's Catch Wrestling Ninja actually. Cool. Well, um, I'll put his links. Uh, I'll put the links down in the uh, the description box below if you guys want to check it check it out and add a little bit more wrestling and catch wrestling to your uh, jujitsu game. Um, guys, as always, uh, talk to you next time.